where are the women? Where are the non-binary artists? And why can't we have more of them front and center? We've literally had so many times, especially towards the beginning when we were tiny little children uh, doing the show of like, oh, sorry, just like don't know any female basis. No, it wasn't we just, really like, it was like, there aren't any. Oh, yeah, there, there literally like, aren't any. I'm sorry, that actually just can't be true. Yeah. I actually just, I just refuse to believe it. A lot of people think there aren't uh, female contractors, and that's usually because they've just never worked with one. <laughs> when it came to kind of looking for a music contractor, we were like, we want to find a lady to do it and we know someone who can help put us in touch. And then Georgia helped find a Christy for us. And she was like, you should hire Christy. And then we met Christy and she was mm. hilarious. Yeah. And we were like, let's do it. And obviously very much like shared the ethos of the show and yeah. what we wanted to do with it and some like, yeah. And so yeah, she was absolutely the, the perfect person. The show itself is kind of about the way in which women have been marginalized in history and the way they've been kind of like written out of the stories that we tell or kind of stories have been told not from that perspective. And so I think that kind of obviously applies in all aspects of life. And we were like, you know, it's a pop concert. We want to kind of commit to the idea of it feeling like a pop concert. So directorially, we wanted to have the band on stage and we were like, well, it has to be women and non-binary people there who are sort of also like showing, like, like, like giving that same kind of message of empowerment and like, you know, sort of like, we can do everything kind of message. And that's the great thing about working in the theater is that it should reflect the time we're in. And Maestra definitely reflects the time we're in. I think that maybe my favorite moment of the whole show <laughs> is the playoff at the end. And there's this just moment where Kimmy, our guitarist, who plays Maggie on the guitar, just like does this incredible solo. And I just like wait for it every time. And I, I can't literally, like every time it happens, I go, get it, Kimmy! And I scream. <laughs> my voice hits this register. It's just my favorite thing ever. And then she oh. finishes it and she like gestures over to Elena on the, on the drum. And the thing that's just like so lovely is when, you know, particularly like young girls come and see our like amazing musicians on stage and they're like, I want to be a drummer, I want to learn the guitar. <laughs> and it's like my favorite thing in the world. When you're looking for uh, female or non-binary musicians or composers or, you know, musical people, you should absolutely turn to the Maestro directory because we did and it made us incredibly happy and it's made our production better and it's made our lives better. So you should absolutely do the same. Would recommend. Ten out of ten. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs>